you are watching travel world online good morning viewers you are listening to travel world online this is arna first the headlines interim finance minister piyush goyal presents the narendra modi led nda government's interim budget 2019 from shifting the focus from basic economic terms like growth and development to prioritizing farmers and bringing in the digital world it seems in this election year travel and tourism industry is left out let's ask the trade what they have to say about it the recent budget by the government certainly supported several sectors of our citizens but what disappointed me the most was the government's emphasis on promoting tourism year after year we see a lot of leaders talk about tourism as a priority and when it comes to budget you hardly see any relief this budget is no different it has disappointed me personally in terms of its impact on tourism this year's budget has been overall a good budget except for tourism uh, it has taken care of the armed forces it has taken care of the rural sectors it has taken care of the middle class it has also taken care of the farmers uh, but you see the greatest need of this country is job creation and poverty eradication and the largest employment generator is tourism one out of every nine jobs that are going to be created in the next 20 years will be in the tourism industry i have not seen uh, in the budget speech any uh, recommendations for uh, giving priority for tourism industry or any increase in allocation in the tourism industry nothing has been mentioned uh, in the budget speech so we will have to look at the details of the budget then only we will know whether there has been increase compared to previous years uh for tourism mm-hmm. so while while this budget is extremely good for the common man i think for, from a tourism industry standpoint uh there has been nothing uh exceptional in this budget uh, we do understand that this was an interim budget but still uh, considering that tourism is the single largest employer in the country and right now the the biggest issue facing the country is uh, uh, job creation this year we were very very eagerly awaiting that government would bring in measures to support stakeholders look at the way we work hard you get foreign exchange to india you get more people visit india you encourage domestic tourism you are promoting a lot of service industry related to travel and tourism and when it comes to budget you hardly see any relief we had a lot of hope the prime minister in his first speech at the red fort had mentioned about tourism Uh, and also in the first budget they gave us e visa and visa on arrival and today we have 10 million uh, tourists coming to india but outbound is more than 25 million because we have outpriced ourselves from our neighboring countries like thailand malaysia singapore uh, sri lanka and dubai because there the taxation on hotels and the tourism industry is not more than 5 to 10% here with 28% GST on hotels the package to india is becoming very very expensive so that is why we want three things we were expecting three things from this budget the exemption of the income tax rate or the capital gains or reliefs given in terms of uh, standard deductions but when it comes to tourism i think it's given tourism a back seat i can only pray and hope a very honorable prime minister who's done so much for this country will also give a lot of impetus to tourism because we need indian tourism to be global and not just be present there but to lead the world and this is possible can be million uh, you know to tourist target has been fixed up and steady increase has been happening but unfortunately a uh, couple of issues we have been facing that you know the cultural ministry has increased the entrance fees in many uh monuments and things are going on seven basis second thing is the uh, home ministry has also increased the uh you know the uh, uh visa fees uh substantially uh we have been the industry has been asking uh, the government both the uh, home ministry as well as council ministry to uh, restore the old position uh which has not happened so far uh we think that uh, a little help especially on reducing the taxation from 28% on uh, good quality hotels and uh, some such measures would have gone a long way in ensuring that many jobs are created and also ensuring uh, 
uh, that our balance of payment uh, situation becomes more healthy than what it has been the sagarwala scheme is going to create uh, you know opportunities in the south 7500 kilometers of coastline and the inland waterways uh, which will not only be used for containers but also for transportation of tourists i think uh, if uh, the government had taken a little more interest uh, for the tourism industry uh, i would have given this budget 10 out of 10 but now i only give it uh, 8 out of 10 You are watching Travel World Online.